God, for another wonderful morning given to us. Jesus. And God has been so good, God has been so merciful, and today we have a wonderful panel that we are going to discuss a very crucial uh, topic that is going to place on our spirituality, our spirituality. Today, the topic we are going to deal with is going to talk about the soul's garment. The soul's garment. Every human being, you have a certain garment that you have to what? Put on from the very birth. God has given you a special garment. And that garment is there. And it is meant to secure, protect and watch over your life and push you to your what? Your better or your destiny. And most of us, our garment on the way has been removed. And for that matter, we are unable to be successful and most of us, we are unable to succeed or to progress to the next stage of life because when your garment is removed, Anything at all, every wind has access to blow you off. So we are going to deal with it. And we know that at the end of this discussion, God is going to move and then we are going to come to realization to put on our new garment in case our garment is removed. Amen. It's removed. Amen. Amen. So, as the panel is in, we have uh, Osofo, our pastor, uh, Samuel, Samuel, we have uh, Pastor Eric too, and myself, uh, Pastor Peter. So, today is going to be an awesome and a very wonderful you know, discussion. It's going to be of discussion, so you can also send your contribution or if you want to share an opinion as we are live you can you can tune in you can let us know so that if there's any post question then by the help of god we will be able to help you out so that at the end if your garment has been taken off either right from birth or in your period of growth god can restore that garment. Amen. And you begin to what? Enjoy what God has destined you to what? To enjoy. Amen. 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 So, wasting no time, we are going to uh, go through the scriptures because everything should have a biblical support so that whatever we do here, it is not coming from the carnal, it is from the spiritual. So, as today, we are going to deal with the spirituality. We have to what? go through the Bible and hear what God has for us concerning our garment. Our garment. Man of God, uh, please, you can uh, read for us. Any Anyone ready can go ahead yeah, Our and read Bible for us. scripture will be taken from Mark 15 verse 20 to 23. The okay, book of so Mark 15. We are looking at 20 to 23. Mark 15 from the verse 20 to 23. Let's hear the word of God. When they were finally tired of mocking him, they took off the purple robe and put his own clothes on him again. Then they led him away to be crucified. And a passerby named Simon, who was from Syria, was coming in from the countryside just then, and the soldiers forced him to carry Jesus' cross. Simon was the father of Alexander and Rufus. And they brought Jesus to a place called Golgotha, which means place of scar. They offered him wine drugged with myrrh, 
but he refused it. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. So this is the word that we are going to digest into it. So, you know, we are going to read it systematically, line by line, so that we will get the detailed explanation so that at the end of it all, we will hear from the side of uh, men of God also, you know, present here so that we see what God has for us. We are going to deal with spiritual what garment, the garment or the soul's garment. Everybody by birth have a specific garment and that garment is given by God. By God. So if we can even come to notice, we could realize that right from creation, when God created Adam and Eve, or when God created Adam, Adam was given a special garment. So he never knew he was naked until the garment was removed. Deep. <laughs> so man of God, let's continue. It says what? The 20. The 20 says, when they were finally tired of mocking him. When they were finally, you no, know, it's about the story of Jesus Christ. We all know how Jesus went through what he went through for our sake. Yes. So, you know, right from his ministry, he was not able to be touched. Nobody had that, you know, mandate to temper with him wrongly. He goes to the temple, preach. It hits the Jews, the, 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 uh, law, or the, the lawmakers, but they are unable to touch him. He moves in town. He goes to the chapel or the temple to scatter there. And nobody happens to what? To, to, to have the feeling of what? Touching this man, hurting him. Because by then, the garment was on. The garment don't give anybody access at all to touch your life anyhow. So Christ Jesus' ministry, nobody until his period was due to suffer or to die for you and I. He didn't come to suffer for himself. That one you should know. So as we are dealing with, Jesus was putting on right from birth even from heaven because he is the direct son of God. So God has given him that cloth, the garment that nobody can tamper with, with his life. It's the same way we have also been given that opportunity, that privilege that we have the garment. We have the garment. So the Bible says what? They took, After they have they are tired of, they mocking, are tired him. of mocking him. So it simply means that what? Jesus Christ, after his ministry, and he was ready for us, he communicated with the Father that now my garment can be removed. Amen. <laughs> How do you say about that? <laughs> you can talk, you can, say, you can say it's something, you can deep. contribute. So it, it means that in life, if God has given you some glory, if God does not permit the devil to touch that glory on you, Nobody can touch it. It can happen. It can happen. <laughs> Unless the permission is granted or God has allowed it as he allowed Jesus or Jesus' garment to be, what? to be removed. He communicated with the Father and said, Father, now I am done with my ministry. So the, the second part of the what? Of the vision of which I am on earth it's now time. It's now time. So he said, now you can remove my garment so that anybody at all can spit on my face. Man of God, uh, please, I want to ask this question. Okay. Uh, this garment that we are talking about, is it that we are being clothed with a physical garment from heaven when we're giving birth? Or what type of garment are you talking about? Thank you very if much. If I may understand, because I know garment is a dress we wear. Okay. So I don't know. I just want to get a that is a wonderful question. As I stated earlier on, from the very creation, or some somewhere you, you can also contribute. From the very creation, Adam was naked, but he never knew he was naked because he was clothed. He see himself as what? Putting on something that he can feel and he can see. And that animals, <laughs> wild animals, became friends of Adam. 
So if you have this garment on you, nothing can what? Can torment you. When we look at the case of Daniel, wild lions starved for a number of days. Daniel was in his clothes. So the lions now became good friends of Daniel. Lions who always, always have mercy on living beings. You know, those da- uh, lions were meant or they were, they were put there to destroy or to uh, use human beings as what? Well, as their prey. But when you have a garment, the godly garment, which is unseen, this garment is not seen. So at times you have a dream and you see yourself naked. You see yourself naked. And at times somebody will have a dream and then come and tell that, oh, I saw myself in a white dress. In a white what? Dress. But by then, when you wake up, you see yourself clothed with only clothing. But there is certain garment that when it comes or when you, you, you have it on you, hmm, you are forced to be favored. Hmm? Favor pursue you. You are secure. You become protected. So that is it. Jesus Christ was secured because of his garment. Daniel was secured because of his garment. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, they were secured hmm. because of the garment. So the garment protects you from fire. The garment protects you from wild animals. Your garment protects you from evil men. That's why the Bible made a profound statement. Thousand may fall at your right hand, ten thousand. You, you see, with your eyes, you see them. It is the working of the garment. So the garment is a spiritual cloth that from the very creation, God gave to what? Gave to Adam. So if, now, 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 man of God, look at this revelation. When finally the serpent fell in the situation and the garment got removed after leering them, when Eve came in the scene and after leering them, you see, the garment got removed and finally they said, ah, we are naked. What shows you are naked? All this while, you didn't realize you were naked. naked. Hallelujah. <laughs> you can also contribute, man of God. Wow. So we, we, we are deep. diving into a deeper thing. Most of us, our success, you are not a lazy person, yes. but you have been working day in, day out. People have access to extract whatever you have fought, you have gained because your garment of protection, the garment that ensures that no evil man can temper with your wealth. No evil man can temper with your life. No evil man can influence you to do evil that you do. It's removed. Man of God, if you continue, they said they took off their purple robe and put his own clothes on him again. Thank you. So it means that when they were mocking him, it means that that garment has already been removed. It has been removed. You see, that was the, why they were able to hmm. mock him. Yes. The purple robe was a, a physical dress that dress the, the, the physical dress that Christ was putting on and said so they put on his own, his own. See, Christ was putting on uh, 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 unseen and his, his, his own garment but the one he was putting on the flesh covering up is just, is just a clothing and that his own so you that you are watching you have your own garment it is not a material sent to a terror or a seamstress to one to some for you to cover the flesh. No, mm. we are dealing with spirituality. So your own garment need to be what? Need to be there. Mm. If you put on your own garment, which is God giving garment, it's a special garment. So when uh, Adam and Eve realized they were naked, God being so compassionate, he realized that they can't move along because already their glory, they have lost it. <laughs> mm. They have Lord, so God have to create some physical things to make them feel as if they are what they are clothed, they are covered, but they were not. You see, if their spiritual cloth is upon you, or you have your spiritual cloth on, eh, you don't struggle in life. We call something favor, it will pursue you, and your destiny is rest assured. 
This is another revelation. Let me tap into this. So, at, at the very day you were giving birth to, some people will see your clothes and they will remove it. Jesus. So, bad person with the evil eye will see that you, you are becoming, you are going to be a doctor in the future. You, I see you to be a, an engineer. You, I see, to, so then they will, they will remove the garment and change your destiny. So, if the garment is on, they can't change that destiny. Mm -hmm. Hey. <laughs> what do you have to say about this? <laughs> hey, man of God, this today today's sermon is very deep. <laughs> you are putting you are you are giving me some some insight to the extent that I'm thinking of what our forefathers have been telling us. Yeah. That sometimes somebody can see your destiny and then he will just change it. Yes. And I ask myself, I'm from God being sent. How can you touch? I cannot change my destiny. So it means they can remove the garment. They remove it. They Jesus. remove it. See, also for some, what do you have to say about this? Also for, with, with the issue of garment, it's, it's a broad something. But I want to tackle on what Paul said in Ephesians chapter 6. Okay. He said, finally, my brethren, be strong in the law and in the power of his might. Verse 11, the last statement, he said, be able to stand against the woes of the devil. You know, when you are having the garment, Jesus, it helps you move forward. It helps you move forward. It helps you move forward. Yeah, if you right. are if you are not having garment, the spirit of fear comes in. Yes. And Bible said he has not given us the spirit of fear, but of sound mind. Of sound mind. So one thing I can say, garments also allows us to move forward and to fulfill destiny. Yes. Garment helps you. To move forward and fulfill destiny. You see, so some people are sorcerers. They said, come and we can turn destiny. We can change your destinies. Take somebody's destiny and give it to you. Why? Because that person's brightened destiny can be tempered with it. Simply because a garment has been removed. Jesus. <laughs> we have people out there. Have you not been hearing them? Yes. They said, come. We will change your destiny. We know what to do. We will look at your palm and read your destiny. They are taking off your destiny from you. So, so if you have the spiritual garment, it is the most important thing in life, in every human life. Somebody will have a dream and said, I dreamed that I was naked. How did you realize you were naked? Because God is telling you, you are no longer protected. You are no longer secure. So, the job you are doing, though you are working, but it, it, it will be nothing good hmm? to, to, to talk about. We have some professors. They are working. They have attained knowledge, knowledge, book knowledge. But ask them in the account. They don't have anything hmm. to boast of. Why? Because their garment has been removed. Now, let me tap into this revelation. And the garment also gives you an identity. Garment. A spiritual garment that we are dealing with. It's a, it's a case that a lot of us, our garment is removed. And to that cause, we are unable to enjoy a better life God has given us. You see, an identity. When a police officer is coming, when an army officer is coming, when a doctor is coming, when a nurse is approaching, you can only look at the person to know that you are this, you are that because of what? Garment. The dress. The dress. Mm, deep. And no matter how an army personnel <laughs> is smallish, short, lean, when the person stands in front of you with a dress, you have to you, you have to marrow. You have to be humbled. It's not that you are afraid of the personality, but you are afraid of the, of the dress, the outfit, the identity, telling that I am in this dress and for that matter, I belong to certain group that we are untouchable. So if you have your spiritual garment on, God himself watches over you. God sees you to be part of his children that he will not allow he will not permit. In fact, he will not guarantee anybody touch you. to touch you. Jesus. What do you say about this? Uh, 
<laughs> Today we are dealing with a very crucial topic. You know, uh, 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 the soul's garment. The soul's garment. Before you can be successful in life, it comes from within. The outwardness is not anything relevant. But within, within, if you are secured, if you are protected, if you are having this identity, which is the spiritual garment given to you by God, from the very birth, you uh, could see that. God, <laughs> this, look at it. Oh. Mm -hmm. So it means that if this garment is being removed yeah. from you, yeah. you cannot even get the help. Because look at it. When his garment was being put on him, yes. then they said that now a passed-by named Simon came in. Favor. 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 So it means if the garment is being removed, you won't get favor. No, at all. You, you will suffer in this life. Some of Nobody you... Nobody can help you. <laughs> you are graduate. You, you keep on holding your fast in your armpit. Jesus. From office to office, from office to... That is not the issue. You qualify for the job, but your garment is removed. Or be inside when somebody has hand in that issue. Mm. And mm. as far as that garment is replaced, mm, you continue to struggle. And then, man of God, look, oh, the pass by example, he is not the relative of Jesus. So. A farmer. A, a different person. Just somebody came. from his field. Jeez. You see, when the garment of Jesus was taken from him, some people spat on him. Others chastised him. They, they, they molested him. But when he said, he ripped that portion, he said, they put on his own. Hmm. His own they garment. They took out their purple robe and put his own clothes on him again. Put on the purple robe simply means they remove his what? His, his physical dress. The dress that you and I, we, 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 find, we find so fun of wearing ourselves with so many stars. It doesn't add any value to our success. <laughs> you need the, the inner being garment. See? So when they put his own garment back on him, now, the people who were caning, molesting, mishandling him, they themselves said, no, this man needs help now. Favor approached there. Jesus. The people who were punishing him, who, who were leading him, to his death. Later realize that no, no, we have to do something about this. So a, a, a pass by, a man, pass by, by name, name Simon, Simon who was from Syrian, uh -huh. was coming in from the countryside, from the country, not even in, in the town, in the country, in that Jesus. country. Jesus, you see. So if you have your garment on, outsiders will favor you. Amen. You have divine connectors. Mm. And anybody you confront with an issue, and the you, person don't have anything. Said, and the soldiers force him to carry Jesus. They Christ. force him. Jesus. So with your garment, people will force themselves on you to do you good. Jesus. The soldier wow. said, you, come. It's a command. Yes. So if people, it, it is not, you see, women, let's not worry ourselves with no makeups. Makeup doesn't do anything. It is the garment the garment. The garment. Somebody don't have anything called makeups. Mm. Don't cover himself or herself with so many things. But when the garment is talking, where you don't have to or you don't deserve to be, you can testify, you that you are watching our life, you can testify that some of us, we are there, the work we are doing now, we don't deserve. Our qualification doesn't get anywhere near, but you have been given the job. Somebody who has that qualification in advance <laughs> is still moving about. It is not the beauty. It is not the, the outfit or the physical outfit. It is the garment that garment. deals with the issue. The first Simon, you come and help the man. So God will pull people to yourself and you'll be embarrassed with help mm. you'll be embarrassed with favor everywhere you go you flow oh, so for someone, what do you have to talk about yeah. this it's, I don't know but it's linking me to the good Samaritan the good Samaritan <laughs> I don't know and, yes and you do, I don't know but when garment like 
garment. Let me say, at that moment, that man was stripped off Jesus. and he was half dead. That was a physical garment. So we are right now, we are no more in the spiritual garment, but we are talking about physical garment. Yeah. And Bible said, a priest came by. He saw the man lying down, half dead, but he did nothing. A Levite came by. He did nothing. And Bible said, a Samaritan. A Samaritan. Somebody so, not within that within rejection. Somebody that they don't have any what link. They don't Even agree. Not in that territory, not in that town. Yes. A Samaritan. Somewhere elsewhere. Practicing like a Samaritan means someone who is someone practicing a religious tradition. Yeah. Elsewhere. Not Jesus. even in that direction, a different place. So, government, I don't know. And, and here too, the Bible was saying, Simon, who uh, was not even in, not in, in that country. So, oh my say, goodness. <laughs> whenever we are in our evil days, even 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 if our garments are being stripped off, our eyes or soft was saying, favor comes in automatically, automatically, no matter what happens, even if our garments are on. And even are uh, even not on us, favor comes in. But there is there is a level at which if our garments are on, we move in life. And there's a level at which if our garments are not on us, because God is with us. God is, is with us. God is with us. One thing we have to know, because He's the giver of that garment. It's deep. Amen. 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 Because it's, 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 you see, it's when difficult. when when his garment was it's being, getting more interesting and more hotter, when his garment was being removed, they were mocking him. Nobody came in to help. Nobody came. Nobody came. Nobody. Until they put his own garment on him. Oh Jesus! Before a helper. Oh Jesus! Different place came. And you see, that helper didn't come by his own by force. A force. It be, yeah. Jesus. And nobody forced him like a militant. A militant. <laughs> ha. So if if you some some of you are struggling in life, you, you are tired in this life. At times you think and you feel like, why don't I end it all? Don't end it all. Something has gone wrong. Something is removed. And that thing has to come back. And when it comes, <laughs> also, I want to say something. As, can, as a good Samaritan. Bible said he was from Jerusalem to Jericho. That means he was going there for a purpose. He was going there for an assignment. But he stopped. But he stopped. He put away every work. He put away everything. And Bible said he fell among thieves. That means whatever he was going to do was delayed. Yeah. He was delayed yeah. for that matter. So maybe in life we 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 shouldn't let me say think a lot about what is happening at that moment. Maybe there's an opportunity that has been opened unto you, but you have been delayed. Just zoom into the future, what awaits you. Even after Jesus was being stripped off from his garment and his own garment was being given, one thing Jesus was mindful of was the glory ahead. The glory. The glory, the glory ahead. So we shouldn't matter what the situation is now. Let, let whatever is happening now happen. That is our moment. Yes. Let Thank it happen. You. Thank you. Let that garment or that was how I was saying there's a difference we, if we are in our own garment there's, there's a difference what happens yes. at that moment and there's a difference what also happens if that garment is being taken off there are two different things. Yes. If it is on, something will happen. Yes. If, if it, it is, is not off. on, something also happens. Yes. How will I know that okay. my garment is being put in? It's been taken away. How will oh. I know? All because right. I mean, it, the day I was given, when you were saying from the beginning, you may be give, they will be give, they will give birth to you, and right from the birth, somebody can take up that garment. I was a child. I don't know anything. So all my suffering I'm passing through in this life, I never knew. Through your discussion, I've, I've now realized that my garment is being taken off. That's why I'm not getting these favors. I've been struggling. How will I know that my garment has been put in off? And what should I do so that this garment can be there and then I can get these favors and this glory from God? Thank you. Uh, it's a very important question. But, you know, 
right from birth, as I said, everybody is given that special garment. So you could see, it, when that garment is with you, a child will hold fire, will play with snakes, will do everything, but the child will break through. The child. You can testify. Your child has been eating things we don't eat. We go in for animals, put in their mouth, do all kinds, but still survive because the garment take off any poison, any danger that is what in it. Because the garment represents the presence of God. That is one thing you should know. The garment represents what? The presence of God. So one, how will you know your garment is what? Is taking off you. You might not know. That is why we are telling you this. So you can sit down now and assess yourself. That what I'm going through, I am of my age. I need to get better married. I have to secure a job. I need some certain favors. I know I have some certain brothers who can help me. I know people who have the means to help me in life. So why, when I call them, they ignore me? Why is it that anywhere I send my far, the only thing I hear is, you hear from us, and I'll never hear from them. <laughs> so when these things are happening to you in your days, know that there is something wrong. See, Moses, Moses at a tender age, when he was giving birth to find at that point in time, he found himself with the unfortunate people at that particular period. So, all tender age or newborn babies were hunted. But because of Moses' garment, a thought came in the mother's mind. Giving the baby to the junior sister. This is deep. And send, you know, put this baby on the surface of the waters, not knowing where and the direction in which this on. baby Jeez. will head towards. But because the garment was on and the garment represented the presence of God that attract and protect and control and direct, God was steering the, the basket mm -hmm. to a direction where favor will find Moses. <laughs> Jesus, this is at that moment he was not in his garment yeah. <laughs> when fever comes in it is a divine divine you see so, so because because Moses have that genuine garment and the mother too played a major role because the mother's garment and the baby's garment have to have a link people have access to take your garment from the very infant because your parents don't know God. Jesus. It is a covering. So if the presence of, that's why the Bible says, train the child the way you should go. So what you have will automatically will impact your child. Man of God, my father is an idol worshiper. Good. Now I've grown up I've, I, I've known Christ. Yes. But things are not working for me. Yes. Is it a fault of my father? What should I do? Should I blame my father? Or first, what should I do? First of all, I said something that from the very infant stage, God gave you what? God have a garment, special garment on you. And secondly, secondly, if you happen to find yourself in a family of the ungodly, let me put it that way. In the family of the ungodly, you know, your garment is accessible. It can be removed, but when you grow to, be, to come to realization, you can take back your garment. Jesus. The garment, we, they don't take to destroy. They, they can't do anything with the garment. They just keep it. Wow. So when Abraham grew old, because Abraham is from a fetish home, yes. you don't know, Abraham's father worshipped idols. So when Abraham grew old, God realized that Abraham's garment, one way or the other, is, is not on point. But the heart is for God. So God has to, <laughs> to speak to him, to live a place where his garment will be in danger. 
So he had to call, send Abraham, say, go to a place I am showing you, which is not known. That is where your garment will manifest. Jesus. That is where you can claim back your garment. Because that mm-hmm. house doesn't allow adequate protection of God's presence upon your life. So the garment may be on, it may be soiled. Jesus. The garment may be on, but it may be soiled. But the garment, God giving garment, is what? It's white as snow and clean. So most of us, we may have our garment. Why? Because you, your heart is for God. Your heart is for God. But circumstances and then some certain issues and things that your forefathers have done and you are still in the family home has caused death to your garment. Until you leave, you leave. It isn't for anything that the Bible says what? A man and a woman shall leave their family house. You don't know what pertains there. You can't marry and still be in your family house. It's an error. So God has to tell Abraham, go, leave. You have a garment, but it is soiled with some rituals and some, some incantations and some, some blood sharing of your father. Because he is what? He's an idol worshiper. Jesus. So that garment is on is unable because Abraham is in the midst, so it covers whatever case, whatever you know, uh, uh, uncleanliness act that takes place in that family house. Abraham is involved. Unto the Lord said, Leave the time has come for me to bless you. So God blesses out of your your garment. Jesus. So blessing doesn't come by chance. <laughs> We don't say we are, you are lucky, you are fortunate. No. Being fortunate simply means you have your garment and you attract favor. Hallelujah. Amen. Man of God, you know, it is getting more hotter and more interesting. You can still contribute as you are watching Jesus. us. Our time keep on moving. If you really want us to continue this, you know, this topic, we will deal with it. We will deal with it for a number of four days. So keep following keep following because our time is moving faster we will like to finish just a portion there and then we will see what next Christ Jesus was giving back his own garment when the purple one was what, taking off the physical and the, when they got to Gogota they torn his, his, his dress that was when the physical dress was taken off and his new garment was given to him Jesus. <laughs> so there, he didn't focus on the suffering again. He was looking up to what, what the father has to say. The future glory. The and they future brought glory. Jesus to a place called Golgotha. Yes. Which means place of scar. Yes. They offered him wine dragged with men, but he refused it. Yes. Yes. Bitter wine. So at the end of it all, Jesus Christ knew that at that point in time he is in the flesh but he knows his limit. Some of us, our attitude have removed our what? Garment. Oh, this one once in a while. Let me just go with friends and then do what? You see, taking that decision will give a very vast space for the enemy to, to remove your garment. Very simple. Oh, once in a while, uh, today let me also have a taste of a lady. The moment you, you, you act in that manner, <laughs> it is your lifetime garment that we are talking about. Your lifetime. Whether you be successful in life or not, whether you be secured or not, whether you be protected in life or not, the garment play a major role. Because had it not been the garment which represents the presence of God, like Daniel would have. Joseph was putting on the garment. So all that they were doing to Joseph, Joseph knew that he is having somebody at back who is a strong pillar. So he never gave up. If you know, you can't condone with evil and you can't, you know, uh, uh, involve and initiate yourself with wrongdoing then I tell you, keep on. It's a good thing. Wherever your garment has been taken off, 
it shall come back to you. It shall come back to you. Because this garment attracts wealth. It attracts. So, in the house of God, and the Bible said, the blessings of God make it what? Make it riches. Toil, suffering. Jesus. He did not add. You understand? Yeah. So, the way you are suffering in life, you are struggling, going to and fro, seeking for a job, and you are not even, you know, uh, coming to realize you are far to pick to talk of calling you. <laughs> there is something wrong. There is something wrong. So, man of God, please, what should I do so that this favor, I will get it again? Yes. Now you have come to know when your garment is removed. Now, what you have to do is what? Come back to Christ. Jesus. Have a repented mind. Change your lifestyle. You know what to do in the heat. It's only God and yourself who can testify. You understand? And again, we have some demons who also will tackle. And the Bible said, at the point of the woman giving birth, the serpent's mouth is already open, ready to swallow. So, as you are in your mother's womb, you are secure because the garment is there. The moment you are delivered on this earth, anything can happen. It is the grace of God. That is why we need not to live our lives anyhow. This topic will continue. We continue. So the only means for you to get back your what? Your garment is what? Because the people were sending Christ back to his father. So the garment have to what? Have to come back. Yes. Jesus. <laughs> so until you draw back to your father, the removed garment causing your, your failure in life, you, you, don't, you lack favor. You can assess it. You are a very beautiful lady. You enter a, an office and the manager will feel a bad scent. That alone will discourage him from giving you what? Your, 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 your job. You don't know what happened in the realms of the spirit. So we don't put a no moving on wall. You see, in this pandemic diseases, this this coronavirus or COVID-19 uh, you know, state in which we find ourselves, people are still successful. People are still moving on. People are still enjoying wealth. You ask yourself, you can't use this sickness to as an excuse. Being your what? Your 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 you know a resource of poverty. No. People are still moving on. So please, we will continue this discussion, but you should know that the only means for you to, to get back, to get back to your what? To your garment is draw closer to God, Jesus. have a repented mind, mm. change your mindset, mm. and move with God. Mm. Stick to your Bible and do what is right. And your garment, God will ensure that it is on you again. Amen. Your final words. Hmm. Less than one minute. Less than one minute. Malago, thank you. Today, the, 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 the scripture has, has indeed impacted in me. Yes. And my soul is rejoiced. Now, I've now know that there is some lacks in my life that I shouldn't, I shouldn't be, be putting the blame on people like that. I should know that 